Fifteen months in the making, finally Wolves open their doors to the new hospitality suite at Molyneux. Around 300 invited guests were treated to champagne and canapes at the grand opening of WV1 Bar and Restaurant in the new Stan Cully Stand. With a contemporary theme and mood lighting, this was the future of football facilities as seen by Steve Morgan. In the midst of the longest double-dip recession for half a century, Mr Morgan has so far ploughed £18 million into his mission to improve the supporter experience on match day, with a further £24 million in the pipeline to complete the job. Last night his blueprint went before the paying public he hopes to convince, and the early signs were promising. Corporate guests making use of WV1 will be treated to wall-to-wall -to -wall windows offering panoramic views of the Molyneux pitch on one side and over the south of the city on the other. The finish is modern, crisp and clean with black furnishings and wood laminate flooring throughout while plasma screen TVs are dotted literally around the room. At yesterday's launch, businessmen and women who've signed up for the hospitality packages in the new Stan Cully stand, mingled with Wolves players past and present, as well as managers Stahl, Solbakken and VIPs. Darlaston-born TV presenter Mark Rhodes, a self-confessed lifelong Wolves fan, gave WV1 the thumbs up. John Roberts, chief architect on the rebuild of Wolves' North Bank, the launch of WV1 marked a milestone in the project, which has taken just two years since plans were first discussed. The restaurant and bar, which will be segregated on match day, will cater for more than 500 people between them. Supporters' bar, the North Bank, will open on the ground floor, while a museum is due to be completed in November.